welcome back. Your face is bright, and your eyes seem clearer. Tell me of everything you have seen. I... Uh, I've been to Asgard, the seat of the gods. I heard a prophecy, warning of Ragnarok, the destruction of the world, the end of all time, and the Nordnir. They warned me of the great wolf Fenrir, and how he hungered for my blood. But there was something else. Hope. I was undaunted by the coming cataclysm. Perhaps this aspect of your vision inspires bravery. Truly, you are touched by the gods. Was there more? I saw through Odin's eyes, just as you said. In every vision, I inhabited his form, lived as he once lived. In his body, I was myself, but I was carried by his whims. His thoughts were as known to me as my own. We were two, but we existed as one. And what have you learned? More than learned. I felt, I felt everything. His fears and doubts, his loves and passions. Incredible. What else? I consorted with Loki, the trickster. We quarreled often, as siblings. But soon our fights grew dark. When he revealed he had sired a wolf cub, my rage was unbound. Because he had hid the truth from you? Yes, because he knew that wolves were not allowed in Asgard. He flaunted my command. Perhaps this was the purpose of your vision. ...to overcome an inner fear, and find forgiveness in your heart. Maybe. But before my vision ended, I was seized by great purpose. I devised a plan, a voyage to Jotunheim. And then... I awoke. Interesting. Was there anything else? There was nothing more. Nothing of great significance. The dream has faded. Eivor, your visions are unlike any I have encountered. Leave me now. I must think on what you have shared. Let's get you to Valka.
Land for Horka. The Baldwin will want this. Get this to the sea.
not bad. Octavian, I have something that may interest you. Hmm? Maximilian sends his regards. Oh, <gasps> what? He... he gave this to you? That perfect little wretch! How did he bring himself to part with it? Ask no questions, hear no lies. I only hope you enjoy it, and that neither of us have to see that man again. Oh, thank you, Eivor. Thank you! Here you are. More relics. Hmm. What have you brought for me? Wonderful. And here is something for you. There should be more like this out there. I have to go. See you soon. Valet! I have the plant you asked for. It took some effort. Good. Good. Thank you, Aver. Here you are. And be careful. This brew will feel as cold as ice on your lips, yet will burn like a fire in your belly. Set foot in this realm in some time. I must find the witch angry boy. About their ruin. Then you are a fool. Please enter. Do not trouble to knock or announce yourself.
reckless, Hirokin. Midgard is no crucible for your experiments. No, indeed. It is as a great barn, swollen with vermin, bulging at the gables. You underestimate the humans. You always did. When the end comes, they will outlive us. They are mindless ravagers who will destroy us and inherit the Nine Realms. I cannot allow that. They are capable of more than you know, and I will not help you bring about their ruin. Then you are a fool. Enter. Do not trouble to knock or announce yourself. Angraboda, I have traveled far to find you. And you are brave to darken my door alone. Where is my lover, the dark fox that slinks between my sheets? Our parting was bitter. He has made many enemies among the gods. My Loki, he's an acquired taste. One that can soon turn sour. I am not Loki's keeper. I've come to understand Jotnar magic, your method for moving Hugo from one body to another. The mead. You seek the mead. Hirokin! You have long outstayed your welcome. Then I will take my leave. But remember what I said, Angarbova. You will see things my way in time. You were discussing the humans in Midgard. Were we? Why would Jotnar concern ourselves with such lower beings? Because you think them hardy and ambitious. You know much, Farseer. But not enough to save you. The mead she spoke of. Where can I find it? A slip of the tongue. Forget what you heard. Do not play games with me, witch. You would sell any truth for the right price. If one had the means to pay it. There is a root called Hag's Claw. It grows at the bottom of a waterfall to the south, at the forest's edge. Bring me three roots from the place where the Red Moss thrives. Then we will speak of the mead. I will hold you to it. <laughs> 